Gaydar Radio. I love it when we get invaded, Debbie. <gasps> the overtones oh, are here. Hello. Some uh, sexy uh, men. Can I just say, it's like the set of a CK advert. Look at you all. Oh, we're not going to wear a hat like this oh, on the CK advert. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, I've got I feel to say a bit something. more like Daffy from Endogs. I don't think they'd have uh, pasted those on their jacket. No, they wouldn't. That's a gaydar badge. We'll get to that in a minute. I've found something. Here we go. Lockie, go for it. CK5. <gasps> this is good. No, 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 wait, wait, Lucky, Lucky, you've got an Overtones thing, our fragrance, come on. Oh, oh, the tones, but spelled E-A-U, the tones? Oh, 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 created for their own good. Oh, my God. Odin need to get a life over here, that's what I need to do. <laughs> so that's Lucky, you just say the rest of you, you're Lucky, aren't you? Hello, I'm Lucky. Very sexy. Who's Hi, I'm Timmy. Hi, I'm Mark. Hi, I'm Darren. Hello, I'm Mike. <laughs> and Mike, Mike and Darren actually holding up their post-it notes to camera four. Um, <laughs> we have to get the post-it notes so we know who we're talking to. Yeah, we do. It's like the first day of preschool here <laughs> oh, at the I love station it. today. Yeah. So tell us your story. How did you guys come to be together? I mean, four of us have been together about five years. We all met on, like, you know, the open mic nights and the live kind of music scene in London. Uh, I was handing out leaflets with Lucky about a year and a half ago. And obviously you can hear him singing, he's got this weird bass kind of deep... Oh, no, it's like that, isn't it? Go on, Lucky, <laughs> say hello. Hi, everyone. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, <laughs> and obviously we had a lot of arrangements and harmonies together. We just met up and started having a bit of a sing-song, really, and then, you know, started our journey as the overtones. <laughs> you know, which has been which has been quite a long journey to get to the point where we've had an album out in the shop. But it's definitely worth the, the, the wait, if you know what I mean. Well, am I right in saying that there was a record company person that was just, you know, scooching on by when you were painting and decorating and they heard you singing and sighing? Yeah, that, yeah? that's what happened. And me, me and Mike have experience in decorating. So we thought, OK, let's try and start a business. And if we can get a job big enough, then we can all work on it and rehearse at the same time because it was getting a nightmare to rehearse. Everyone's trying to make money in London. As you can imagine, bar work and Timmy was waiting on tables and, you know, people doing promos around the country. Yeah. So we did that. We got a job, luckily, and um, we were singing on a tea break rehearsing for a gig. And she walked past. <laughs> it's crazy, because we tried every way you can imagine, you know, to try and, and get your foot in the door. Handed and then, the Yeah, you know, everything, singing at every pub gig we could. Yeah. And then singing on a, on a street corner, we get noticed. So who is it that, um, who gave you this break? What's her name? Her name is Sarah Conoco, and she's an angel. We love Sarah! We love you! <laughs> It's like a classic thing out of a movie, isn't it? Oh, yeah, 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 trying, trying to get the break. But people do think, like, oh, she was there with a contract and signed mm. us there and then. I mean, the thing is, she invited us down to an audition then. Yeah. And obviously, we had to we had to learn these three songs. Um, and us going down there, we knew, lads, and we? we were like, this is our opportunity. Oh, yeah. And we're waiting in the, in, the, in the kind of reception area, and there's a big, like, WB sign, Warner Brothers, and Mike's, like, getting out his phone, like... Yeah, like, play it cool, yeah. like, play it cool. Yeah. But it was very apparent that day that actually, do you know what, these opportunities don't come along very often, so we really kind of gave it everything we had, and thankfully, you know, it, it worked out for us and we got offered a, an album deal, you know? And again, and again, like, we, we, we've been asked so many times, really, you got noticed singing on the street? But the thing is, I mean, the, the type of group we are, you know, we'll sing anywhere. We sing in Covent Garden, in tube stations, bus stops, walking up the street, you know, anywhere. So it was only a matter of time before somebody of importance would actually, you know, discover us, really. You know, it, it, we, was, it was five and a half half years in the making as yeah. well. People are like, oh, yeah. you lucky, you lucky so and so. Well, you are lucky well, songs. We are lucky. Because <laughs> you sing and you look good. We were lucky, but we, we yeah. crafted for five years as well. Oh, I know. I and can tell the way you're looking at me. That's why I knocked Don't say we're lucky. Fortuitously and serendipitously. Oh. Um, oh. Yeah, 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 I love writing that down. Yeah. 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 Serendipitous. Yeah. 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 Like that word. Lucky's got the new F word. Fortuitously. But like the old doo woppers of the 50s and 60s, it started on the streets of Chicago and New York and they sang on street corners. Yeah. That's where they they found this sound, this early rock and roll, early R and B, early uh, kernel of sort of Motown. And so the fact that we were at just rehearsing on a tea break, singing a bit of Billy Joel's Longest Time, oh. it was it was just really, it was a it was a really beautiful moment, mm. and sort of as it should be. Do you know you're a sod, lucky because in my head all I can hear now is that. Mm. Oh, you can give us a snatch oh, of that, snatch. Billy Joel. Yeah, we will do if you want. Yeah, 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 go, yeah, 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 yeah Let's get a no check mark. <laughs> Dum, 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 dum. For the longest time. 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 Ah. <laughs> 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 That's, what's the name of the woman that signed you? 
Sarah Connor. Lucky Sarah. bitch, she knew what she was doing that day. <laughs> the Overtones are here with us this morning on Gaydar. More in a couple of seconds. Neither Debbie here on Gaydar, and we are back here with the Overtones who are with us this morning. If you've just joined us, you've just missed a fabulous piece of close harmony. I love all of that stuff. Well, I mean, where do we start? I know. Well, uh, tell you what, can we go around? Can you, can we, would you be able to sort of um, uh, create a song for us and just sort of show us how each of the different voices and component parts work? Could that be possible? I mean, why don't we the... create, forget you, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we could, maybe we could create just in the flash of a moment, a bit of CeeLo's oh. Forget You. That oh, would be yes! Great. Yes! Um, right, so let me hear where my note would be, Lucky. Um, <laughs> Girls, it's going to be up there! So because <laughs> 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 obviously, Lucky, you're the, sort of, you're the bass, so are you sort of like the, 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 the I don't know how you describe it. Baritone. The, 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 the uh, root of the, yeah, the root of the... Lucky, the, bass, so it. the bass often... Pro I mean, we... Because we, we're sort of uh, giving a, a doff of the hat, a little nod to these old vocal harmonic groups of the 50s and 60s, so part of that is you have a deep bass ranging through middle harmonies, a lead vocal, and a, I'm going to say, a heavenly oh, falsetto. Yeah. 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 Angelic. Yeah. Uh, oh. So pretty much when we're, when we're coming up with a song, we do naturally know where our voices need to fit. It takes a lot of work. So to do one, I mean, if you said the name of a song, we could probably go and work on it and come back and do it for you. It's not going to happen in 10 seconds. Oh, no, no. I know that. Yeah. I know that. Because if we've been watching The Only Way is Essex, we know that the buzzword of the moment is prof sure. professional. <laughs> <laughs> professional. Well, we'll get to The Only Way is Essex in a minute after this, because um, I saw you. Where? At the advert that popped up in the middle of Fish ah, Fish Hazel. But see, I yeah. tweeted about oh, that. Yeah, I know night. you did. I know you did. I've not seen the ad before. But yeah, it was a very interesting bit of the show you followed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was there any for jazzling going yes, on? Yes, quite was. a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> there was a shoot. There was a shooting star going across her pubic mound. Yeah, no, there and was. then our advertisement <laughs> came on. <laughs> oh, wow. oh dear! Wow. How'd you was follow that? that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the Overtones are with us. If you want to check out their website, it's theovertones.tv. Theovertones.tv, so you can see who we're actually chatting to this morning. Um, but, uh, yes, yeah, so have you got, you've got an album, haven't you, as well? People we have, can... yeah. Good Old Fashioned Love. It's out now in all good record shops. If well, you'd the like one a, that's if, left. Yeah. <laughs> just, just your HMV, is it? Yeah, if you'd like us in your stocking uh, this year, please go down to HMV. Yeah, you and can also <laughs> get it in all the supermarkets as well, on iTunes and yeah. Amazon and things like that, so... We're not limited to HMV, don't worry. And what happened on the 13th of December, we released a deluxe Christmas version of our album, Good Old Fashioned Love. Wow. It's available exclusively on iTunes, and we've got some classic 50s, 60s uh, Christmas songs like White Christmas, we've got Sleigh Ride, we've got uh, Winter Wonderland, and it just let, they lend themselves really beautifully to sort of the, the vocal group style. And there's a lot of, like, footage and stuff on there. We did a bit of Live Lounge, so it's an iTunes special. Check yeah. it out. And you've, uh, you're currently you're on tour with Peter Andre. I know you've done Plymouth and Cambridge and Berwick, loads of different places around the, the, the UK. Uh, tonight, Glasgow, then you're Aberdeen, and also Sheffield and Manchester. Busy, busy, busy. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, and we, yeah. we did the O2 a few nights back as well. That was amazing, wasn't it, love? Yeah. Unreal, unreal. Did you spot an SOS? Uh, this is that was a poor. That was a. That was. There was a little bit of dead time on that. Wow! Well, no, I tell you. I tell you what. Yeah, this is from the four, confused faces. This is from Four Puffs and a Piano, who are on the Jonathan Ross show. Whenever they play a live gig, they spot their SOS, which is Shack of Show. <laughs> so now just look out in the audience and say, "I'll play to you tonight." <laughs> you don't have to answer that. You can if you want. They've gone very I think, coy. I think Timmy's got a few admirers because Timmy likes singing. You know, picking somebody out and yeah. singing to them, and uh, then they feel a connection and then they want to go for a drink and it's like, oh, I'm yeah. singing to you, I suppose there is a connection, yeah. but it's not like, I want to marry you connection. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm what being a, polite. What about inviting you into the yeah, performance? Yeah, yeah, but you do, yeah, but you, you know, might, you there's might a... Sing to someone who you... There's always a chance, right, Tim? Come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what about you, like Brad Pitt? <laughs> what about you, Brad Pitt, a.k.a. Oh, yeah. Mike? Do you get yeah, any yeah, of yeah. that? Yeah, much. it's my pleasure. Um, I, I don't get that much of it, no. I do sing to people, but I don't seem to get as much interest oh, as Timmy. Oh, stop it. Oh, no, shut up. I was trying to did, get the sympathy no, there. Did you, <laughs> did, you get, of attention. did you get much attention when you played G-A-Y? Oh, oh we had. We had, a <laughs> <laughs> we, had such, <laughs> we had such fun at G-A-Y. Yeah. Yeah. Like, apparently, they were kind of unsure how, you know, it was kind of, we would be received. What? Mm. What a style and of music, like if you're in a nightclub dancing their way to, like, a club mix. Yeah. Like, yeah. Shaboom yeah, come comes out. Shaboom, but they loved us. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, and we did, we did a couple of acapellas for them as well, and they're all yeah. singing along. It was great, a really good vibe.
right. It was good. Yeah. Good energy in there. It was good. I can also tell you they liked you for another reason. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'd ask him. More dead time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, listen, can we get you to this this Celo track yeah, first? Yeah, you, and yeah, could you sort of show us how you put it together then? That would be really fascinating. Uh, should we grab a little note check? Yeah. yeah. Dum, 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 dum. You're driving round town And I'm like, forget you I guess the change in my pocket Wasn't enough And I'm like, forget Song hundreds of times. It's the first time I've heard all the words, and the words are brilliant. But that see, was gorgeous. It's written in such a style yeah. that that it can be so easily given this toe tapping, doo whopping, yeah. old school twist. And so mm. we try and do that with. We, can, we sort of do that with quite a few songs. Our fans come on Twitter and Facebook and say, oh, I want to hear this song, and so we work it you out. You do and it. Post them. You can check that version out on YouTube as well. We've done, we've done the dirty version for you guys. Oh, my <laughs> God. Well, talking <laughs> of versions, uh, Darren, could you possibly be Kylie for Especially For You? I oh, saw you your Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for that, Lucky. We had, I'm just gonna, I'll let your lovely listeners know that we had a, we had a bit of an Addison Lee nightmare getting here, uh, and we were all very late, and it was Darren and me who were the first ones here, we thought we're Stuff we'll sing especially for no, you. No, you thought that, Lucky. Yeah, like, oh, I, think, <laughs> I think it's more the typical London traffic, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, listen, it's an absolute treat to meet you. Thank you so much for coming in to see us this oh, morning. Oh, really? yeah. So you've got the, the tour continues. We've got no, a few more dates. Obviously, Glasgow coming up tonight, Aberdeen, and also then Sheffield and Manchester we're, on we're the night. We're up there, weather permitting. The weather permitting. I've got right, right, my yeah, hat, my hat on already, okay. so I'm, yeah. I'm ready for the call. Yeah. And, and then what's, <laughs> up, what's happening uh, next year? Are you going to be doing any of the festivals, anything like that? Well, uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, d leading up to the summer, hopefully we'll be doing those. We're really keen to do the Vintage Festival at Goodwood. Right. That would be amazing if we could do that. So and. and and we'd be perfect for it as well. And so. as well, it'd be great as well to go around the country, you know, to bring our music to like a theatre tour. Mm. You know, get oh, everyone out, that. come out, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, come out and dance in the aisles. You mm. know, it'd be really good. Mm. Maybe a couple of dance halls as well. It'd be really cool to and bring you back guys that kind come of as well. Yeah. Thank you, Brad. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm really <laughs> pleased you were not, or I don't know whether you've ever applied to it on X Factor because a you would have won it, but b you've gone down a much classier route, and I think it's wonderful. Yeah, we're having, so, we're having an absolute Blast. Yeah, yeah. You, it bottom. sounds it. It sounds it. And thank and beauty too. So would you chocolate and a toy. Would you like yes, I would with, actually like it. As well. <laughs> Whatever yes. it is. Whatever it is, I want it. Uh, we're sliding headfirst into Christmas now. Yes. Do you wanna do you wanna round it off with a little That would oh be fantastic. Snippet, yeah, totally. a snippet of a ditty. Yes. Okay. Right. Before we go into this, can I just say everyone keep your eyes pure because we've got a few um, TV appearances coming up in the next few weeks. We'll be singing Christmas songs. We're on Loose Women next week. Oh, good luck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Be scared of that one. BBC Lottery <laughs> Christmas Eve on an ice rink. Oh, at my. The uh, History Museum. We're not no. skating, though, we're just singing. We ain't skating. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, listen, uh, we'll play another song and we'll come back and we'll get the Christmas song from the Evertones right after this on Gaydar. The Evertones are with us this morning and we have a nice Christmassy song before you disappear. Thank you for this. Here's a little snippet of White Christmas, which is on our deluxe iTunes version. No check. Ding, dong, ding. Christmas has be white And may all your Christmases Ooh. And be Everyone. You can check them all out on the website. It's theovertones.tv. Thanks and have a great Christmas, guys. Have a lovely time, guys. Gaydar Radio.